Hey guys, welcome back. Up to this point, we have built out ability to send a user an email so they can reset their password. But we have some issues, guys. So the first one is when a user surprise an email and they submit to request for a reset email, notice how long it takes. Look at it, look at it. So now I'm staring at the computer. And yes, I'm just waiting for for angels to fall. So it takes a lot of time for the server to respond. And that's because it's doing a lot of things in the background to make sure the email is being sent. And the problem with that is it is doing it on the main thread, which blocks the, the UI from responding to the user. Same thing, if we go to like the, the register page and we try to create an account. So I'm going to create a simple account here. Okay, so if I try to submit this, it's going to also take a lot of time just because it is sending us an activation email. This is something that usually will not be like very crucial for it to be real time because most of the times a user won't be on their device or if they are, they will understand that it can take a while to arrive. So being able to show the user like immediate response can very much enhance the user experience of a website for example now on like on our register page this is usually the first impression of the user gets when they are using the our application so once it is slow then it can really cut down our leads and really no one will be happy in the end so in this video i'm going to show you how to use threads to speed this one up so it's actually going to be a quick one so going back to our application so right here you can see that we send an email like this so I'm going to change some few things. I'm going to import threading here. Then I'm going to set up a class to manage all this. So I'm going to set up a new class. I'm going to call it email thread. Then it's going to inherit from threading the thread. So this is a class that actually gives us all the juicy stuff. So this is the one that enables us to work with the Python thread so we can run the application on, on, on other, other threads that are not like network bound. Okay, so right here, now we need to do one thing. One is going to, let's define our constructor here. So under in it, in here, basically, we are going to define what will be sent to this class once it's initialized. We know well for sure that when we are sending an email, we basically send an email message. So we can expect this. So now, in the, in the right here, we can expect the email message email message so once we get the email message we basically want to set it to the email message that was passed in so right here now we can do self dot email message because the email message that gets passed in by the user okay so once we have that we basically have to define one more step so this is to call the parent thread class so you do thread threading thread and then you call dunder init threading thread then you make sure that you're calling actually it's dunder init yeah so dunder init so then pass in our class instance okay so now since this is a thread we need to define the run method so the run me what we define in the run method basically describes what happens when this thread is started like when one of the th threads of this class are started so right here, we basically want to send a, send the email, so which we can do from email message, email message, then we call send on it. Okay, so this should be self dot email message, then call send on it. So basically, what's happening now is every time a thread is created, it's basically going to run the run, but for it to run the run, we need to start it. So right here, down here, uh, where is where we send an email. So right here, we need to create an instance of the class, which we can do from email thread. It should be email thread. Then you see it expects us to give it an email message, which we have here. Okay, so pass it, and then we need to call start on it. So start will call the run the run method of that class, which now in our case will send the message, will send the email. So right now if we go back to our application and go to reset and supply in the same email and click submit, look at what happens. We immediately get the response that the email was sent. 
So at this moment, the email is being sent in the background on a separate thread, but having the user being notified just at their instance is actually something, something really cool. So we can imagine that now a user is going to pick up their computer from somewhere, make sure their internet is connected, then they try to check their email. So in that process, the email will be getting delivered. So for example, now if I check mine, okay, so it has actually arrived, so it is here. So zero minutes ago, so right here, the email has arrived. But I, I want you to notice the, like, the difference in, in how long it takes to, to send it. So right now, you, 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 submit an, you supply an email, you submit, everything is working like really fast. But look at what's happening to our, our friend, the registration. So right here, look, 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 look. So register, look at how long it's taking. Like this is not really cool. So let's substitute it for the, let's substitute it basically for using, to use threads. So that should be right here. It's actually going to be the same thing. So we can call email thread. We give it the mess email message. Also we deleted the email message, sorry. So we need to do it here. Should be, email thread, you give it the email message, and then you call start on it. Okay, and that's all you need to do to make your program like behave, um, behave more faster without sacrificing the user experience. So yeah, that's gonna do it for the video. I know some of the people will decide to use more sophisticated things like Serori to run these tasks in the background, but for now, this is simple it can do the job with that said i'm going to be posting this series here so if you guys feel like there's something you want me to cover mostly about django authentication it could be django it, it could be django it could be the rest framework it could be graphene for graphql so if there is something that you would want me to cover please feel free to comment it down in the in the, in the comment section i'll see you guys in the comment section hopefully i'll catch you in future videos i'll see you then bye